can you say hi? Hi. Say, I'm Sawyer. I'm Sawyer. And we're decorating for Christmas. Can you say it really loud? We're decorating for Christmas. For Christmas, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to this year's How to Decorate Your Christmas Tree video. These trees are so amazing. Like you went out into the forest, you chopped it down and you dragged it into your house. And it's just such a beautiful tree. So I am so excited for you guys to see the tree that we have this year. And the theme that we landed on this year is very much like a vintage classic Santa theme. So I have a two, um, well, now he's almost three a three-year-old and a uh, one-year-old, and they are just like starting to recognize how fun it is in our house with all these Christmas decorations that we put up in October. And so normally my style is very like organic and like a lot of white on white and a lot of just like very cozy cottage organic vibes. This year we are really leaning in to the classic red and green, which I think is really fun. And I love adding this fun vintage kind of twist to it. I'm also so excited to share that I have a 10% off coupon for you guys. So if you're interested in anything that I decorated my tree with this year, this whole tree is shoppable on Amber Marie & Co's website. So enter the code SHARA at checkout and enjoy. What is your Christmas theme? for this year. Do you pick a theme? Do you do the same thing every year? Do you switch it up a little bit and buy a few fun new ornaments every year? I wanna know what you're doing for your theme for Christmas this year, so leave it in the comments below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing when it comes to decorating your tree, well, actually, the very, very first thing you need to get these shoes. I know they're ugly, okay, they're not cute. I bought these literally because I was having like a foot problem and I had my podiatrist, yes I have a podiatrist, I'm not 80 but I do have a podiatrist. She told me about these shoes, I ordered them on Amazon. They are the most comfortable shoe. I have decorated all day long in these shoes and my feet don't hurt at the end of the day which is an actual Christmas miracle when you have hardwood floors. If you walk around barefoot, just don't do it. You're gonna be miserable. Buy these shoes, I'm gonna link them below because you're never gonna regret it. They have them in flip-flop version too if you don't like the closed toe but these are way better for fall, can I just say. The second thing is most people all of us actually don't have a giant open space in our home for a Christmas tree, which means that you're gonna have to move stuff around in your house to make room for this giant tree. Even if you have a smaller tree, you're probably gonna need to shuffle a few things in your home. That way you have the most ideal space for your tree. So the first step is get a buddy, get a dolly, and move your stuff. If you need to move furniture around in your house, these are the thing to have. Makes everything easier. Uh, if you want the tree here, yeah. you probably put the box out there. Yeah. Just want to bring it in here for a second and show where it's going to go. <laughs> Introduce you to your space. <laughs> that one was funny. It was good. When you open up your artificial tree, you need to fluff all of the branches. You need to take each individual branch, open up any additional branches on that branch, and then any little small twigs on top of that branch. Every single thing needs to be touched and opened. That way, your tree can breathe. Because if you don't, you bring it out of the box, it's squished and like And that's not cute, okay? So do not skip the step of fluffing the branches. Do it in sections. So open up all the branches on one layer, then you add the next layer, plug it in, do the next round, add the next layer, do the next round. Take your time with it because this is an important step. And last thing, make sure you cut off all the tags. If it's a new tree and you have lights, Christmas lights, cut off every single tag on those Christmas lights layer by layer because once you put your whole tree together, it's gonna be hard to find them. But I swear you're gonna end up seeing them in between the ornaments somehow. And you don't wanna see a bright white tag in your nice beautiful green tree. All right, so because this tree is 10 feet tall and our ceilings are nine feet tall. We're just gonna take this branch and we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna take these like that. Artificial trees are really easy to decorate because you can bend and mold and adjust the branches wherever you need them to go. 
Um, when you have a real tree, you kind of have to like actually trim out branches if you want an opening. But the one downside to artificial trees is you don't get that great fragrance that you get when you have a real tree. But I have discovered the best smelling candle on planet Earth that smells like a Christmas tree in a candle, okay? It's by Pickwick & Co. I believe they are in Kansas City, Missouri. They are hand poured, they're made with essential oils, and this one is called Fraser Fur. You need to buy like 10 of them. They are, you're gonna wanna have them lit all December. They're great gifts. These are awesome. I'm gonna link this exact one below because it is changing the game. If you have an artificial tree, you still get the smell and you get the cleanliness of it not dropping needles everywhere. Let's move on to the next step, which has to do with the tree skirt. We gotta get it dressed, you know? Let's put its outfit on. Here we go, here we go. It's like a choo-choo tray. Here we go. Okay, so this year's tree skirt. Look how adorable, you guys. I told you I'm doing vintage Santa, right? Vintage Christmas. Can you see? It's like an embroidered Santa sleigh with this reindeer. So cute. I am linking this below. But when you go to put your tree skirt on, sometimes it looks a little sad sack under there. Grab yourself some extra tissue paper. It doesn't matter if it's white, colored, or whatever, because you're not gonna see it. You could even grab, like if you buy new ornaments, which I should do this. You wanna save that bubble wrap because you're gonna wrap your ornaments back up and sometimes you can lose it or someone throws it away. Just grab like all the extra trash from any new stuff you buy and shove it under the skirt because you want it to be full, you know? See how much better that looks? Okay, so at this next stage in the process is when I recommend you guys put on your tree topper, your star, whatever you're gonna put up there. But I recommend that you do your tree skirt and your, your star first, because oftentimes those two things require like finagling the tree around a little bit. And if you wait until all the ornaments are on, things could fall off, you could like squish something and then it's all misplaced. So it's best to do the top and the bottom right away. See, isn't that cute? And then it lights up and you can just stick it right into the tree. And the best part is they fold up like this when you're done using them. See how they have lights in them? They're very cool. If you can see in this room, we have a light fixture that's in the, this is my office, so we have a light fixture right in the middle. There's not really room for a star. This tree is too big and the light fixture, we pushed it up as far as it could go. So the light fixture is kind of my star this year. So we're just gonna go with that. But. I will show you my other tree and you can see the full star installment on that tree. Step number five, put extra lights on your tree. If your theme is anything like my theme, you need to get these lights. These are actual lights, they glow make Santa look so cute. And I love that they're kind of retro. You know, this vintage flair we're going for, this like totally gets me there and achieves that goal. I will tell you, a lot of you guys have questions on like quantities and stuff like that. I have two sets for each tree. I probably could have used a third set because I have 10 foot trees, but I have enough stuff on mine that I was able to do without adding a third. But if you're ordering these and you have like anywhere from a nine to 10 foot tree, I would do two to three sets. I'm gonna start on the bottom for the first round and then I'm gonna do the top for the second string. And you guys will see how cute these stinking lights are. They're just so cute, you just wanna kiss them, they're cute. Okay, let's do it. This is Tyler, as all of you know. And some of you know, this is Marty. Marty was in my, <laughs> we went on a little antiquing through Tulsa and she came with me. And now she's helping me with all of the Christmas decor. Cause we have so many ornaments, we gotta cut all the tags off of. So she's helping us out. Okay, so in Tyler, I'm enlisting you because you have long arms. Oh. <laughs> and you're eating on camera. Come on, man. You didn't Brad bring Pitt me does any? Brad Pitt does it. Brad Pitt does it? He does do it, but he looks cute. <laughs> He looks cuter than you do when eating on camera. So here's the trick with these. And I know not everyone's using these, so this tip won't apply to everybody, but you kind of want to like place them where you want them deep into the tree. And then you don't want them all to be next to each other. So then you kind of have to like weave it around and under, kind of take some finagling. Oh, elf boy, where are you? So next, step five, is this five or six? One, two, three, I should just number these. Four, five, this is st six, step six. I want you to grab your garland if you have any picks. So I'm using these and I just lasso it where I want that to be and then I'll tuck it in in a minute. But I also wanna make sure I'm not covering up my Santas. So we have a swoosh and now we're gonna swoosh it right here. And then you step back and see if you like it. And if you do, you tuck it in and you wire it. 
and if you don't, then you move it. But you do this part before all the ornaments because you wanna make sure that everything's like in the right spot and you have the ability to actually rip it off the tree and throw it back on. And if you have ornaments on, it's just not gonna go well. This is where I need my tall Papa Elf. Papa Elf, where'd you go? I think he's doing Papa duties with the babies, but he'll be back. Perfect. Step number seven. Start with the big items first. Put those in your tree. Make sure the prime real estate of your tree is featuring the prime items that you want to put on your tree. Then you can move on to filling it with ornaments and smaller things starting on the spine, coming out towards the branches, okay? When you guys go to put on big items, this has a little hanger with it. Most of them come with them. You don't necessarily wanna just like hang it on your tree. I would recommend finding a branch that's open and placing it on the branch with the, whatever the top or whatever facing you. You don't wanna tie it in like that because then you see the bottom. You want it to be like this. So what I'll do is I'll wire through the bow and then wire it to the tree to a branch and put it in so it's faced that way. So I can still put ornaments on this part, I can still put ornaments here, but it's kind of like a little gift on the inside of the tree that you can see, and you want it to be facing out, like that. You wanna tell them what the next step is? Big balls. Tell them, not me. Big balls. <laughs> What about the big balls? It pays to have them. <laughs> no. What? What? <laughs> Stop it. You were ruining my monetization status on YouTube because it's not child friendly. You want to place the larger ornaments next because these take up a lot of real estate. So you also want to know how balanced it's going to be. I'm using about five, I think, of these. Yeah, five of these big balls. And I'm going to place them around the tree in areas so I can get a nice little canvas going, a balanced red polka dot canvas. Ready? Perfect. Okay. Oh my. You, you really, <laughs> you really are the Papa Elf. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Have you seen my elf? You should go bring him out. My elf? Yeah. Um, I haven't seen him. I think he's in the bedroom. Oh, I'll, I'll go for you. Come back? What is this? Be I thought you Be were decorating for Christmas. Hello. And we're back. So one thing I will note as I'm placing the big ornaments, kind of the showstopper ornaments, I'm starting to see holes through the tree. Like see this hole right here? This is a perfect spot for me to fill in with a smaller ball. So here's a smaller, it's glass. So if you have little kids, Using plastic is better on the lower branches and ones that they cannot reach, I use my glass ornaments. I will put this smaller one right in here, find a branch above the hole that I can visually see, and I tie it up really tight into the tree. And now I don't see the spine of the tree, I don't see through it. This little light's gonna light them up really well. I can still hang ornaments here and here, but as you pass through, you kinda wanna layer the tree. You want to tell them step number eight? 
Are you shy? <laughs> okay, step number eight, and I've been doing it here. You can kind of see some examples. We're starting to put on the smaller ornaments. See, we've got a mixture of sizes, and those are gonna come out towards the end. When you start to add the smaller, you're gonna notice some holes probably deeper in, so you can continue to add the ornaments in. Make sure the spine of the tree is covered and all the pockets are filled. Yeah. And then continue to add specialty ornaments on the edges. And then you're done. Yeah? You wanna help me? Okay, let's do it. Thank you. Where should we put it? Should we put it right here? We'll put it like maybe right there. Oh, I think it might fall there. Over here, it's a little more protected. Can you help me? I also added these amazing battery operated candle lights. So they are not on a string, they are literally on a clip. You can clip them onto any branch and they actually kind of fade in and out if you look closely on the light part. They are run by a remote control and they are just honestly so cool. Turn them off, turn them on. You can also turn them on a six hour timer if you would like. And I would recommend putting these kind of on the outer parts of the branches. They just illuminate at nighttime. They look so beautiful and they add such a dreamy vibe to the tree. When it comes to doing ribbon, it kind of depends on the style of tree. Last year I didn't do any ribbon. This year I do want to do kind of your typical, really big classic bow. And you want to make sure you balance where you're putting them. You don't want to put two right next to each other. You want to have it be kind of like triangular so it's all balanced. Okay guys, that's all I have for you this year for our Christmas tree decorating. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned a few things. I cannot wait to see your trees as you guys start to decorate. Don't forget to answer the question of the video. What is your theme this year? Do you add all new? Do you add some new? Do you do the same exact thing every year? I wanna know, so leave me your answer to that question. And then also, anything that you saw on this tree this year is shoppable, so go ahead and click the link below in the description box and you guys can find all the cutesy little ornaments. As you guys know, we have all kinds of Christmas videos coming out this year, so just stay tuned. We have some really fun, special things with the kids planned. And this year I just wanted it to be fun, nostalgic. As you guys know, I mentioned in the previous video, if you missed our first video, that we are moving to Nashville um, next year. So this is gonna be the last Christmas in this house, which is like, I can't even talk about it but makes it even more special just to make the memories with our kids and to make it so fun for them and to have a video, all these videos that are like a timestamp. And just a reminder, you don't have to be a YouTuber to make fun videos of your kids during Christmas time so that you too have a cute little timestamp of the house that you're in with the kids, the age that they are during the holidays, I think it's just so fun and special. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you all. I will see you in our next Christmas video coming out next week. And I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Bye. Let's look at all these Norman Rockwell books. Come here. You know, this is our theme this year. Christmas memories. You put in how your Christmas went. Memories of this past year, Christmas Eve and other special events of the season. Biggest surprise of the season. Did you just break that? Fa la 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 la. Are you trying to make it sound scary over there? Brody thinks it's funny. You wanna get out your booty and help me out or what? I'm looking at, you know, I'll put that in there. photos, yeah, okay.